ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode here on Pastiche of Skin. Today we are playing a game for Made in Japan, and it's called Birthdays, The Beginning. From what I know of this game, it's a god sim. It's literally, you are starting the world from its basics, and building it up so you can plant all the animals that you want on it to actually take over the world, and then you grow. and nurture your own animals. Yep, create and nurture in a most civilized manner imaginable i'm thinking i mean oh this is definitely an asian game because i had to use the circle button <laughs> and i got caught out for that one this time son of a bitch <laughs> uh, okay so published by arc system works these are the guys behind blaz blue sure, I, will take that. I, will, yeah. uh, I think i pointed out to you yesterday it was a 2d fighting game series okay, okay. there's lots of stuff i don't know the stuff that everyone knows is just a small piece of this mysterious world my grandpa loved to read and owned lots of books. Too many to count. When I was a kid, I used to borrow his books in secret and read them. Grandpa's special little stash. Birthday's the beginnings. Press any button. New game. Options. Not many options. Going to new game. Yeah. Any key, any key. Ooh, I love tab. <laughs> it's like a Pepsi Clear. Yep. <laughs> or Crystal Pepsi. Ooh. <laughs> My stomach growled at the concept of even having one. One day. On the. I'm cheating. But you. This is the first time we've. Wait, this is our. This is our. But it's our cold open as well. Yeah. Um, it's a cold open for made in Japan with this setup, actually. Yep. Mm -hmm. So for me, I, I can cheat and I can have. Uh, I can, I can, I'm actually on the game's uh, website, mm -hmm. beginning.com. Just having a quick look at the pictures. I haven't even gone into any details about the game itself. Uh -huh. um, it is. It seems like a, quite a very interesting game. It reminds me of. Um, uh, I don't think you would have played I mean, you might have played it when it came out. It was. The Xbox? Um, Viva Pinata. Oh yeah, Viva Pinata. Hmm. Oh hell yeah, I played the shit out of Viva Pinata. Yeah. It's one of the, it was actually one of the most beautiful games on the Xbox 360. It, it was vibrant, it was colorful, it was essentially a really bizarre farming Pokemon hybrid game. Yeah. I, I, I got into that shit. I got when into you that. Say, when you say Pokemon, I'm looking at this and I feel it's got a Pokemon vibe. It's just because it says there's Creatures and uh, organisms fine. Okay, so I said you yeah, want to put them all in your menagerie. So let, let's jump into the game here and see what they've actually got to say, because otherwise we're sitting with our cat, uh, our fans sitting on the oh, yeah, screen. Oh yeah, yeah, work away, man, into the game. I'm not gonna. One day. That was released in Europe. Oh, oh, so it's actually coming out fairly soon. Happy yeah, days. Pretty soon. Um, on the ninth of the US. Ah, okay. Over the website, I was checking it. Ah, uh, so pretty much uh, it's going to be a April, May time that actually was coming out anyway. Oh, well, this is well timed. A day like any other, I was reading a book when an old scrap of paper fell out. It looked like a small map. Specifically, a map of this area, and in the forest, a spot had been marked. Maybe it's a treasure map. A childish notion, I know. I had no way of knowing if the map was real or not, but it didn't seem too far away, so away I went. Pockets of sunlight seeped through the dense canopy of trees, dimly shining my way as I walked through the dark forest. Right when I thought, I think this is a spot. I was blinded by the light. A beam of light appeared before me. At that moment, I wanted to run, but my feet wouldn't budge. So there I stood, and then, as if beckoning me, the light began to move. It almost looks a bit apocalyptic, actually, or, or old steampunky. Hmm. And my feet responded in kind. I felt like a puppet. There was nothing I could do. Because you look at that graphically, you look at the logo. It looks like two different games. I eventually arrived at the entrance to a cave. Oh yeah, completely different stylistically, but I mean, this is probably taken from the concept images and the artwork, which is pretty cool. It's like, essentially, it was a still images with a layer over the top of it, doing this filtery stuff. The light continued into the cave, and my feet continued after it. Shortly after, I lost in consciousness. I lost unconsciousness? Ah, I woke up! When I woke up! 
There was a giant cube before me. Next to it, a smaller cube-like object and a creature I had never seen before. And with that, the strangest incident of my life had begun. Welcome to the unknown world! I don't have a name myself, but if you want, you can call me Navi! Hey! Listen! Hey! Listen! Die. Hey! Die. Listen! Die, murder, death, die. <laughs> <laughs> Kill that little thing. <laughs> the correct die is your Navitar. You can give it a name, any name you want. For a long time, my job has been to birth life on worlds such as this one. But lately, things <laughs> haven't gone right. I know everything about this world, but I can't do anything on my own. So I called upon you. I'm sure you don't understand, but trust me, you're the chosen one! You're you seem you. confused. I just need help, that's all. I'm sure you won't let me down. If life can be birthed on this world, I can finally complete my task. And then you can return to your world. You're so good for this. Together we can move forward. It's our only option. My voice is going to be destroyed. First things first, you need to know that the rules of this world. Yeah, now let's second, begin. Stop, 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 stop. Oh, my throat is hurting. Stop, stop. You should let me read that last part. I was going to, you know. <laughs> what, what, you what you want to do is, um, you see that red square pillar? That's the cursor pillar. You better take this cursor pillar and just like, go fall on hope of it. <laughs> you can hide it variously. <laughs> Oh fuck! <laughs> <laughs> see, you were just. See, I went too high. You went too low. We should have been swapping that around next oh, time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my god! I think All right. Good. So essentially, it's telling me I can raise terrain, I can move terrain, I can move things around. Like blah 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 <laughs> All right, everything seems okay. <laughs> everything is flat. Let's play the mini map. Okay, you can explain the mini map. Red dot is where you are. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> Fast forward. Press R1. Boom. That's what happens. Raise it up. Yep. Raise it again. Raise me up. So I can stand on mountains. You raise me up. On top of stormy seas. I don't know. And I'm that. stronger. Hey, right, we'll save this for an episode of that mid narrative. <laughs> <coughs> Westlife. Anyway. <laughs> Westlife. Oh, wow, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's how they made the pyramid. <laughs> Alright, so <laughs> raising the land will decrease its temperature, lowering the land will increase it. So if I make it lower, it's hotter. If I make it higher, it's colder. Okay. Oh, Okay. Uh, <laughs> steam sleeves rising out of the ears. Uh. Um, right, so what they what they say here is on their website is uh, a cube ship garden for everyone. Ship the land as you see fit, create your real world home homeland or make a totally original world. The only limit is imagination. And when you're done, show your friends the world you created. <laughs> See, that's the reason why. Like, I stopped. I had to stop doing the character voice I was doing. All right. The biggest problem here with this is like, whenever I lower ground, it looks like you've run out of HP. I have health or whatever. <laughs> okay, I run. It. Oh, I'm exhausted. <laughs> I just can't dig anymore. Just don't tell me to dig anymore, please. <laughs> Macro mode, but I'll heal you just this once. Well, that's very sweet of you. Uh, other ways to control land. So every time you actually use up stuff, it actually, uh, every time you do something, it actually uses up HP. So you, you're a god with limited health. Wow. The worst sort of god. Well, essentially limited power, I suppose. I suppose you think you unlimited stuff. Yeah, well, the whole point is that you have to build with the, within the limitations. This time we'll dig a big hole in the ground. Okay, time to use it. <laughs> You can put the last one wherever you want. So two of these have to go into certain spots. So one here. Right. And then I use that. Boom! Big deep hole. Boom, bitch. Get out the way. Hole is deep. Get out the way. Boom! Second one. And then the third one can go right... I'm going to put it right on top of the mountain. Uh, I don't think you can do that. Yes, I can! Uh, that's stupid. I think I just leveled it out. Yep. 
I had a plan. I don't want any high mountain goats. I just want low level creatures. Or low no, plains like creatures. Things that actually will breed on the ground floor. Do I have to tell you about the sea? It's the birthplace of all life. Okay, so everything has to be covered in the sea. Seaman? Yep, seaman. All the seaman. <laughs> Primordial drop. It's for my seaman. Okay, seaman. Why do I do a primordial drop? Minus one T or under? There. Boom. Alright, enough of that. Yeah, just reminding yourself too much of it? Of Sonic? Oh, oh! Five, four, three, two, one, dead. Yeah, pretty much. All right, so this is interesting as a world building game. Uh, we've said you created the broth of life, so. Quite a lot, quite a lot to take in. <laughs> there's, there's quite a lot to the game from what I can see from the website. Yeah, it seems to be a world building game. Um, I just need to put it somewhere. I need to put the breath of life somewhere. I want to put the breath of life inside this pool of water. Something will live! For life to be born, but right now, time is frozen. <laughs> if time flowed normally while you tried to work, things would turn bad real quick. So here's another important rule. Time only passes by when you watch the world unfold from a distance. So try pressing triangle. <gasps> and now we watch the world grow! <laughs> Man, your world looks shit. <laughs> what? Fuck you. Fuck you. Okay, I'm, looking at, I'm, I'm looking at one picture. I'm looking at a picture of the world there. That's on my website. I'm like, yeah. Get that mountain. Well, what's this now? Watch my world. Plankton has grown. Happy birthday. Uh, okay. uh, phytoplankton is said to be the original life form. See? I mean, original life. Nothing's happening. Nothing's happening. Nothing's happening. Life. life. Oh, life <laughs> Might have been a map. Uh, then what's a single birthday? The cube status below will show your information about this world. Temperature fluctuations, flora, fauna, terrain proportion. <gasps> I'm almost too messing at the details. Yeah, well. I'm saying there was names. Yeah, I'm saying there was names. I got. Spectroparamus. <laughs> oh god, um, uh, <laughs> Essentially, all things Latin are spells. Oh god, yeah. Um, time, temperature is the most important factor. Generational and geographical change matters too. The most important by far is temperature. Now the ratio of sea to land determines the temperature. The more land there is, the lower the temperature, and the more sea there is, the higher temperature. Elevation is also a factor. Higher elevations make lower temperatures, and vice versa. Oh, let's see. Two gear were in 2000, and day gear were eight <laughs> seconds? Eight seconds. Eight, eight seconds, okay. Eight so minutes, I'm sure. Eight seconds equal to... Yep. Well, it's also because everything's frozen because we're doing this. Oh, L2 will fast forward. Boom! Nice. Let's start Flashpoint. Yep, Flashpoint it is. Fast forwarding time! Ah! Get a boss. Plankton. 93, a population of 93,000, 100,000 plankton. 220,000 plankton. Zoo plankton! What an under... A new species has been born. Three birthdays in a row. Expect to see a lot more. As a reward, I'll heal your HP. <laughs> now, what was born was zooplankton, the first multicellular organism. Amazing! We've made multicellular organisms within seconds. This is amazing. It's it's like a galactic playground. Yeah, it's like a more of a fucking uh, adventurous, uh, it's more ambitious version of uh, Tamagotchi. <laughs> that's actually, that's literally what this is. Yeah. The only thing we don't have to do is clean up any of the poop. Or this batteries. Well, you got, uh, no, you're yeah, right. well, your HP runs out, so that's a your batteries. Clean up any poop yet. It will see what happens. Mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to poop. Show me the pooper. <laughs> I think you may be going to the wrong market there. Macaroon, let time unfold again. Huzzah! Watching the time spin, spin, spin at its speed <laughs> as we fly through the 70,000th year of our planet He's as right. we watch the things grow. This is starting to be like a quick point in time. <laughs> <laughs> Stromolite! <laughs> Finally, something actually grew and actually appeared on the ground, has it? No, it's still in the water. Right, we no. still only have... It's fucking grinding. 
No, it's not straight. It's not draining. It's a, it's, a, it's water based. It's water based. I suppose at this point, actually, it's evolving to you know, a two work of the water. I see no creatures in any of this. Oh no! Things died! Oh, no! No! Um, okay. <laughs> One of my species died! So yeah, what do you think? Judge, judgment on this game, it's the kind of thing that you would need to be playing. We need to actually do like an hour long, two hour long video of this in time lapse to actually make any progress appear to actually be happening. Oh, yeah. Yep, that's a lot of description. This is a demo. Is free? Oh, it's a free demo, eh? Uh, there's nothing there. Nothing lived. Everything's dead. What about the other hole? Oh, the phytoplankton's still fine. And the protoplankton is still fine. But the strombolite died. It oh, died here inside this pit, in oh, this hole. Sorry. Something yeah. went horribly wrong here. It was just not right. You're, well, your DNA is weak. Oh no, my creature's DNA is weak. I like I I I, put, I put, didn't put my DNA in. I put the seed of life in. Uh, you know, I'm gonna be sexist here for all men. <laughs> Potato, potato. It's it's, it's, <laughs> it's all the same. Oh, it's all the same. Yeah. So um, yeah, I'm actually looking for. <laughs> I was so excited and rolling around there that I actually dropped the stylus for the actual controller. So I was like, going like ah, and I can't stop the episode yet because of that. Brilliant. So um, this is another episode. Of, oh, it's still playing away there. Happy days. Oh, that's because. Yeah. Well, it's it's in this episode of Man, I gotta say this is actually it's quite graphically a, a good game. Like, not you've not seen this. I mean, go to the website, go to birthdaysbeginning.com, and you'll see what. Game has. Oh yeah, essentially what it is, is a god sim where you're literally building from the base points of the planet. And I mean, essentially, like, you can see it's actually playing away. There's like thousands of years passing as we sit here. Um, life spans going up and down. There's not really much you can do in a lot of ways. So you kind of like, you affect the temperature, you affect the location. A lot of those details pretty much decide what's happening in your world if you like the idea of being a god of your own world like if you do you know people who like uh sea monkeys and those kind of things where like you're or you keep keep yeah. aquariums or whatever else this is actually a fun game for that express purpose that you are just carrying for an entire planet from its baseline up and you want to see what you evolve into now obviously i'm a terrible god i have actually just taken a hands-off situation here and you're like you know what walk it off on your own you'll be fine you're on your own if you can manage it. If you can manage it, you'll be fine. You'll be alright. We'll see what uh, happens. You're much better than the god I know. <laughs> <laughs> what, uh, any one of the 900,000 you don't believe in? Yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, guys, thank you very much for watching. This has been uh, Birthday at the Beginning, and it is truly the beginning because this is all you see in the beginning. This is all what life was. This is all we had. We crawled out of the Primordial Soup, and I managed, I have still not managed in 200,000 years to get out of the Primordial Soup. <laughs> Uh, I'm, uh, I mean, do, do, do keep yours count in the same way? I don't know what a keep year is to a like, car year. I mean, what would that be? <laughs> Millions of microseconds. But yeah, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you actually enjoyed watching us uh, blather on over the top of Birthday of the Beginnings and you're interested in the game, make sure to check out the game and make sure to hit the subscribe button for us. I think boom with this hand. Subscribe button up here on this side. See that one up there? Hit that. Hit that button there, and that'll allow you to actually see videos as they come out live here on the channel. Or, of course, you can check us out on twitch.tv forward slash passage skin. All of the socials are down here, actually, down at the bottom of the screen. If you can find any of those, they're all passage skin. You can check us out on any of those. Especially that one down the far side. That one's uh, vidme, if you haven't ever heard it before. vid.me forward slash passage skin. Um, guys, thank you very much for watching, and uh, if you want to see any more stuff that's here in the video, you can, of course, hit the button up here inside. There's a couple of boxes up there. No, a couple of boxes up here. <laughs> That's the hard getting the answer. The box is up on the other side here. We're actually like showing episodes and series that we've done here on the channel previously. Uh, made in Japan, amongst others. And I really recommend you check those out. Thank you very much for watching. And we'll see all you dudes in Ooh, we've got animals in the, thing. All right. the next video. We'll Bye. Bye.